PSA return day. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and today I got my PSA return. This is a PSA return. This is from PSA. It's from President PSA, Doug Gallant. Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Doug, for getting my box to me. I submitted this in February of 2021, and I have just received it in June of 2022. That is over one year because everybody decided to grade their cards last year, myself included. And I sent, I think I sent 66 cards or something like that in this one. I sent another submission, which I should be getting back in God knows when, but I got this one back, and let's see what's inside of them. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to my channel, but in the meantime, I've actually started grading my own cards. I like my slides a lot better but now i got all these psa submissions that i have this pay. it's got a lot of my old pokemon cards in it and some dragon ball stuff so let's check out what i thought was a good idea to grade one year ago oh yeah if you guys want to see more shrimp and some dragon ball content definitely one piece card game content make sure to smush that subscription button you hear every week shrimping or doing deck profiles or whatever it is psa return day so I guess when you got a lot of stuff from PSA, they send them in these boxes. With, they have PSA stickers on them and numbers. Yeah, I'm sure they have a pretty complicated system. I think they're grading a lot of stuff every day. So I haven't told, oh wow, they're like this. Oh, look at that. Got a brick of slabs here. This is PSA brick of slabs with my slabs that I've ordered. And oh, I honestly don't even remember what I submitted. So I'm gonna put these off here and then get them over here so we can take a better look at them. So here's an Espeon. This is a near mint eight Espeon. I think I bought this on TCG player actually. I don't think I opened this. Got our first DBS card here. This is Vegeta Vermilion Bloodlines, the Dancing King, stepping onto the dance floor. And this one got a 10 because Dragon Ball cards are great, so they got a 10. Oh wow, an eight on this first edition Hitmonlee. That's actually pretty good. That's uh that's pretty surprising. Wait, I sent two of them. One of them got a five? What? I I don't think these were stored or cared for any differently at all, but I guess yeah this one has a little white more of a white mark around the edge they look pretty similar though i don't really know much about grading pokemon so i can't really speak from any sort of experience or anything but that's cool to get one that has an eight. First edition haunter coming in at a hot eight that's pretty nice pretty nice i'll take that number six from the set so i like that first edition gengar with an eight as well that's really nice you know, I really would have liked a six on this one. Unfortunately, I just got a five. That's kind of lame. But, you know, you win some, and then sometimes you don't win some. But I think this is such a pretty card. It's nice to have it in a slab. I might actually just break it out and put it in one of my own slabs. Charizard coming in in a hot five. And another Dragonite of the five. Wow, these are both fives. I, I don't know... I feel like all these cards were in, like, basically the exact same condition. So this seems a little, uh... Seems a little not right to me, because this one got an 8. You know, here we got an 8 on this Mewtwo. Another 8 on this Vaporeon. You know, obviously Charizard and Dragonite were the ones that I would have liked to get something more than a 5 on. Snorlax got an 8. I mean, it looks like pretty much everything got an 8. They even gave Blastoise an 8. And Scyther got an 8. All these Pokemon cards are getting 8s, which really makes me think that maybe more of them should have been 8s, but they got 5s. Look, I don't know. I'm not... Don't shoot the messenger. You know, I'm just the guy... I'm just the guy telling you what the grades are that I got. This got a 5. This Machamp. Jolteon with an 8. That's pretty nice. And Flareon with an 8. So I think I got the Evolutions all got 8s. That's uh, that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm into that. I'm happy about that. I really wish I got a 6 on Dragonite. But, you know, they have to give me that 5. This Machamp got a 7. This is a French one. Machogneur. And uh, this Clefable got an 8. So, yeah. I don't really know. You know, I feel like all these cards were opened at the same time. They were all kept in the same binder. I didn't really play with any of them. So, kind of weird that there would be such a drastic difference in the grading on just those few cards that I think are probably the most sought after cards. All right, I think we're getting into some Dragon Ball here. I think Dragon Ball performs pretty well across the board, generally. You got a Vegeta, Prince of Destruction coming in at a 10. That's pretty nice. I guess that's the best grade you can get. Trunks coming in at a hot 10 as well. SPR Goku from set three at a nine. I don't know what knocked this to a nine. I'm pretty sure these were all like identical condition. Ooh, Unstoppable Goku got a 10. This is a great card. This is actually probably one of my favorite cards in the entirety of the Dragon Ball Super Card game. So very cool to have a 10. But honestly, I think it looks better with my slab. I slabbed one myself also. And I just, 
I don't know. Ever since I started grading my own cards, I don't think PSA slabs really do it for me anymore. I graded this one for fun. That's cool. She got a 10. Valsalva Maneuver Frieza coming in with a 10 also. Of course, the more rare card that I pulled, they had to give a 9. This is that's kind of ridiculous. This is actually, this came directly out of a pack. This is actually probably in better condition than a lot of the other 10s. This got a 9 also. It seems like they're just grading older stuff 9. Yeah, it looks like all the Tournament of Power stuff, I got 9s on all these. But yeah, really kind of feel like... Maybe I, I should just grade these myself. I think they look better in my slabs anyway. I got a bunch of Vegitos. I really like this card. Some of them got nines, some of them got tens. Yeah, I really don't know uh, what the metrics are on these. I mean, I can't be too mad because there's a lot of tens, but I think Gra Dragon Ball just grades well because I think Dragon Ball is printed really well. So it makes sense that it would grade well. These are all both tens on these Clash of Fates SCRs. I think this card came out like right while I was sending these in actually. Ooh, Broly got a 10, that's pretty cool. And Hatch got a 10. Well, you know, they all should have. These all came directly out of packs and the sleeves and PSA doesn't seem to knock Dragon Ball cards for centering the way that Beckett does at all. But they're definitely not as lenient as I am. I give anything a 10 that if, they want, if somebody wants a 10, if you want a 10 on your card, I'll give it to you. If you want me to actually grade it, then it will get graded, but there's a different story with all the how that works. I think this wad is more Pokemon, actually. Oh, Gohan got a 10. Nice. Good for you, Gohan. Very good. In, in light of his upcoming movie, Gohan gets the 10. This got a 5? I don't even know. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty bad. Yeah, that looks fiveable. I guess I just wanted them in a slab. Fortunately, this is all when these cards were just $10 to send out. This got a five. Makes sense because people want this card, so it makes sense that they would grade it really poorly. I think that's how these companies work sometimes. This guy got a five also. I bought this on TCG Player as a near mint card. So near mint uh, Primal Kyogre from TCG Player will get you a five at PSA. That seems like valuable information. Beerus got a nine. Sorry, Beerus. The Tournament of Power guys couldn't make it. This is pretty good. I bought this on TCG Player also as a near mint and it got a nine, so that's pretty good. Dark Dog Trio I had since I was a kid. This got a five. Dark Blastoise got a five. Ooh, my first six. This Dark Blastoise got a six. I really like this a lot. I like that a lot. I like the look of that. That is good. Yeah, and look, there's a nice little swirl in there. I'd love to get some more sixes. It's the first six. That's the first six of the entire return. Zapdos got an eight. Muck got an eight. Yeah, believe that. This is actually pretty good. You know, all these all these eights that I got, these first edition eights, I actually had these on my desk when I was a kid. I took uh, I took scotch tape and I put them on the back of all these cards and I put them on my desk. So I, in all honesty, I'm actually really surprised all of these weren't fives. I feel like all of these, I was expecting to get like twos and threes and stuff. Cause I mean, I had tape on these things. Um, six, another six. Hypno got a six. Nice one, Hypno. Oh, SSB Vegito. Sorry, dude. You only got a nine. Sorry about that. You know, you got the 10 in the corner there, but they couldn't give you the 10 on the grade because, um, because obviously this is the first secret rare really sought after. How can you give it a 10? Who's, when is PSA going to give that card a 10? No way. It's out there now. This card got a 10, great condition, straight from the pack into a sleeve. All right, makes sense. This is another TCG player pickup, and here's another TCG player pickup. And oh, yo, this Kyogre got an eight. Nice. So TCG player near mints can get you eights on Pokemon, I guess. That's how that works. And uh, Dragon Ball, all those Dragon Ball cards I pulled, uh, actually. I'm surprised uh, the other ones didn't get higher grades, to be totally honest. Because I sent in some Awakened Powers, and those were about tens way back when. But I paid more for those, of course. When you pay more, they grade more easily, I would imagine. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you guys some of my slabs. Because I just showed off all these slabs. This is what my slab looks like. I like these way better i think my label's way cooler it's way shinier let's look at let's look at this psa label look at the back of that you know a little bit of shininess this has got a skull and crossbones on it and it says pirate in japanese and there's this other skull and crossbones and the 10 is on fire and these little these these categories are hype yo look at this shiny composition crisp smooth aesthetic place a flawless bijou versus a gem mitt yeah, I'm definitely only going to be grading my own cards from now on. This To me, PSA is a complete waste of money. I think, you know, if you want to sell cards and you want to keep cards to, like, sell and stuff like that in time, yeah, I guess go with PSA or Beckett or something. But if you're just grading for your collection, I mean, look at this thing. I actually carry this around in my pocket all the time. I'm pretty sure this is the the uh, Hito Hito no Mi or something, the Dark Dark Fruit. I'm pretty sure this is Blackbeard's devil fruit actually so yeah uh, i'm gonna stick to grading my own cards it's way more affordable and um 
I actually like the way they look a lot better. These are gonna go in a safe and I'm never gonna look at them. So I'd rather have cards that I wanna look at. And that's really my feedback on the grading. I hope you guys enjoyed this PSA return. I've never done one because I was planning to do one, but I actually sent my cards in a year ago and I just got them back a year and actually almost a year and a half now. That's really, really lame. Um, I am a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip to you would be don't wait a year and a half to brush your teeth. You should brush your teeth twice a day, every day. And don't wait a year and a half to go to the dentist. Going to the dentist should not be the frequency of your PSA returns. Make sure to be getting your teeth cleaned and take care of them because they'll take care of you when you're older. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time. And I never, ever, ever mind if you dance or sing with me if you want to. If you ever want to do anything, don't be shy, you could do it. If you leave the video, then that's okay.